Let me get this down to my size here. You know, I want to thank everybody for being here. I know it means a lot to Pat and to honor her and, and celebrate her life. You know, we have so many former Lady Vols here that I'm so proud of, former staff members and colleagues. We have some opposing coaches here, and we have some officials here. Just in case y'all were wondering, the officials uh, showed up. So if any of you get out of hand, there are some whistles in the house. <laughs> I guess that means Pat was pretty special for the officials to show up. Um, she's probably looking down going, why are, why are y'all not at work? Everybody needs to be working right now. You know, honestly, this is one of the hardest things that I've, that I've ever had to do, is to speak about Pat in the past tense, because she meant so much to me, to you, and to the world. Because Pat was our friend. She was our coach, and she was our family and what a family she created. An unbelievable family like no other, and it was built on love and loyalty. You know, Pat's success never changed her. All the fame and the fortune, she never forgot who she was. She never forgot where she came from. And in fact, as an assistant coach, you were taught humility as well, being Pat's assistant. There were times in the airport that I would get trampled. I would get boxed out by people trying to get to Pat. And so one day, I'm standing there in the airport, and this lady runs up to me. She has a, a paper and a pen. She said, aren't you Mickey DeMoss? And I, I said, yes, I am. <laughs> and she said, aren't you Pat Summit's assistant? I said, well, yes, ma'am, I am. And she said, would you please go get her autograph for me? <laughs> I'm like, really? But you know, just a few years later, justice was served. <laughs> we were down in Florida at a staff retreat, and we walk in a restaurant. We walk in, this whole table, people turned around and just stared at Pat and was nudging and whispering. So we sat down. Pat goes, did you see all those people over there just staring at me? I said, well, Pat, they probably know who you are. She said, all the way down here in Florida? I said, well, Pat, I said, you know, you've been on the cover of Sports Illustrated. You've had an HBO special. You know, you've got three books out, and they do read occasionally down in Florida. So... <laughs> And so I said, so they, they probably know who you are. She said, well, I don't know. So she said, well, I'm, I'm going to excuse myself, go to the ladies' room. So she happens to, she had to go by that table. She walks by the table. She goes, hey, gang, how are y'all doing? They said, oh, we're doing great. You know, you look so familiar to us. <laughs> and she said, oh, do I really? And this lady said, don't you work at Ace Hardware? That is a true story. And I am so glad that I was there to hear it. You know, Pat's philosophy was you win with people. And one of her favorite quotes by Alex Haley, anytime you see a turtle on top of a fence post, you know he had some help. And he always, she always gave credit where credit was due. She never thought that she did all this by herself, and she always made it known. You know, Pat was a leader. I mean, a tremendous leader. And, you know, she led, and people wanted to follow her. And she would always say, you're either leading or you're following. If you're not leading and you're not following, then you're not doing anything. And I really don't have time for you. And so one day we were in practice, and I mean, the players were working hard, down in a stance, boxing out, doing everything that, you know, we wanted them to do. And I kind of went over by Pat and I said, hey, I said, team looks pretty good today. Well, I found out real quickly that Pat didn't like it when things were going too smooth. 
you know. So she said, hold it, stop everything, hold practice. Well, you could have heard a pin drop, as you can imagine. The players look over there at her, and she looked at one of our players, Lisa Harrison, I remember, and she said, Lisa, what have you done for your team today? And Lisa just kind of did like that. She goes, well, Pat, I don't know. She said, my point exactly. <laughs> so she never, she never wanted you to get too comfortable in your position. And she always pushed you to be better. And in closing, to me, the real accomplishment of Pat's life is this. You win 1,098 a, a games, eight national championships, and what people talk about in the end is not about how much you won, but how much you did for others. And I just want to thank Pat and just know that we know her heart is as big as this arena. Thank you.